If you find yourself running out of storage on your phone and computer, have files and data scattered among different devices and clouds, and you feel out of control and overwhelmed with all your digital data, then keep watching. I have a system that organizes your data and files in a convenient and efficient way that allows you to avoid the previous situation while enjoying a clean and stress-free way to keep and manage your data. Before implementing the actual system, I had to do some work. I gathered all the files and data that I had from across all my devices and organized it all on a hard drive and put it in the cloud. This included pictures, emails, documents, voice memos, anything I cared about from over the years. I went through all my devices and just dumped all the data into organized storage. This is the hardest part of the process, but the less data you have, the easier. And if you really don't care about salvaging anything, then I guess you can skip this step. The first type of data that was important for me to organize are photos. My photos automatically upload from my phone's camera roll to the OneDrive app. I like OneDrive because of the amount of storage that you can get for the price. Its cross-compatibility is also useful, not locking you into any specific company. And it's straightforward and just works. OneDrive is great, but it's only one backup. For more insurance, I also upload my photos manually to my computer, like twice a month, and then from there put them on my hard drives. This way, if anything happens to my OneDrive account, I always have a backup. You'll see that I use hard drives a lot in this video in order to provide security against data loss. Every day on OneDrive on my phone, I look through my On This Day album to see pictures that were taken on the current date from prior years. It's usually around a dozen photos or so, and I go in and delete the ones that I don't need taking up space in my cloud, like screenshots or duplicates. Unfortunately, I can't really do this on the hard drives, so they still have the unnecessary photos, but my hard drives have much more space than the one terabyte that you get with OneDrive, so I don't really mind. With photos sorted, we move on to the next main type of data. For files I don't really care about, I save them locally on my computer. I actually just use preset categories in the user home folder just because it's already there and it's easy. For things that I do care about backing up, I don't want them saved on my device only. I also upload them to OneDrive by saving them straight to the OneDrive folder on my computer. In my OneDrive account, I have my pictures from my phone and I also have a folder called files. In this folder, I have multiple categories for the different types of files that I have, adding new ones when I need to. In this way, for things that I care about, I make sure to save them to the appropriate folder within the OneDrive space, which means that in addition to living locally on my computer, they are also being backed up to the cloud. So this covers the stuff on my computer, but what about the files on my phone? I also need to back them up. I can do this with the OneDrive application on my phone in the same way that I do on my computer. Instead of saving documents locally to my device, like on my computer, I save them straight to OneDrive, whichever folder suits it best. Again, making up new folder categories when needed. And again, to ensure that we are not relying on only one backup, I periodically copy this OneDrive folder, which now contains both my computer and phone's files, to at least one hard drive. With photos and files out of the way, we get to the rest of the data. I recommend iCloud or Google Contacts to have them in the cloud and to sync the contacts across different devices. Since they sync from my phone to my computer, I can save all my contacts as a VCF file right into OneDrive. VCF is a type of data format used to store contact information, so opening it up on a brand new computer or phone would instantly give me all my contacts. I export my contacts like once a month. Most of the voice memos I make on my phone aren't so important, so I don't care about storing them in the cloud but rarely for ones that are, I easily save them to OneDrive with the Files app on my phone. For important emails, which is also pretty rare, I either save them as a PDF or EML file in my OneDrive folder. For passwords, I recommend using a password manager, specifically Bitwarden. It stores your passwords in a list, syncs across devices, does autofill, and it's free. It's cross-compatible with every operating system, so it doesn't confine you to a certain company. Just to have another copy of your data, I recommend exporting your password database every so often and saving it to your cloud and hard drives. By using a password manager, you'll never forget passwords or lose accounts. By using this way of storing your data, you aren't trapped in a walled garden or ecosystem of any one company. I'm not relying too much on iCloud or Google to store my data, which means that I can use Android, iOS, macOS, or Windows seamlessly. Just by installing OneDrive and signing into my logins, I have all my data. 
If I ever need to clear space on my device, then I can just press free up space in the OneDrive folder and it's all offloaded from the device's memory. Likewise, when I get a new device, I don't have to set it up as a copy of my old phone or computer with all of the attached clutter and layers of cached data from over the years, which makes things run slower and takes up more space. Instead, all I need to do is sign into my Apple or Google account and download OneDrive to have access to all of my essential data. Because I save unimportant files locally on my device and only important files get saved in the OneDrive folder, my cloud and hard drives aren't so filled with clutter as they would be if my entire computer was backed up. By following this system, you can avoid clutter, running out of storage, and losing data while having peace of mind, organization, and better functionality. Have fun implementing it, and if you run into any questions, please ask me in the comments. I would be so happy to answer. Thanks for watching!